right, let's bring it up to our ring announcer, Carlos Kramer, and get our main event of the night started. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for our main event of the evening. Let's bring our first warrior into the K1L cage. Please welcome from India, Mohammed Farhan. Well, here we go, folks. This is what it's all about. It is time for your main event. Big time matchup here, Mohammed Farhan stepping towards that ring. Nine and three is his record. One of the best bantamweights in the area. And you're talking about an awesome run that he had until he lost by unanimous decision to Hamza Koheji back in November of last year, Brave Combat Federation. Before that, he was on an absolute roll. TKO after TKO after TKO. This guy likes to knock people out, Nate. That is a lot of knockouts. How did he win? Punches, punches, punches. That's an exciting fighter. All right, Mumbai. Let's welcome his opponent into the cage from Team UAE. Put your hands together for Amir Abdel Malik. And here comes his opponent representing Team UAE. This is Abdul Malek. They call him Tony, fighting out of Egypt with a pro record of eight wins and seven losses. Fighting for Egyptian top team and coming off of three straight wins. A decision back in November of last year, split decision, then a KO this year in February, then in April, a tap out round one. So he's been on a roll right now. You got two fighters that are on nice win streaks. This is how you do it. This is going to be a battle. That's why they saved it for the end, my friend. Yo, you aren't lying. And again, these are fighters. That, and I, I've seen a lot throughout the years of, of generated rage between one another. No, these guys genuinely do not like each other. Take a look at your tail on the day. Both guys 29 years old. You got the height advantage going after Joel Malik. You have the experience just by one fight going to Malik as well. This one's pretty similar. There is a high reach advantage that'll go to Malik, but this one is going to be good. This is what it's all about at all. Throw something real rough. Farhad looking very calm, no unnecessary motion. Oh, and he goes up top, Farhad does. A quick jab there by Farhad as well. See those circles, oh, slip by Farhad. Hide it behind a jab, some some other combination. Wow, and he catches it. Malik catches the kick, charges forward. Now we'll see if Farhad goes oh, high. Yep, that might be it. That's a big kick. Farhad looking to finish. Farhad really oh, brainy he is down tenacious. shots. A buzzsaw. Mohamed Farhad is looking to end Abdul Malik. And they get back up. That was a lot of damage, though. <laughs> <laughs> Another high kick by Farhad. Oh, Malik answers with a stiff left. And there we go, folks. Round one is up. An eventful round. Abdul Malik wins a personal battle there, a small battle just by surviving. Constant head movement. His body is always moving, so you never really know where the attack is going to come from. See, there's confetti and there's water. It's a scene, man. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see if Farhad can go right back to where he left off. And a nice oh. takedown by Malik. Interesting. Right off the bat in the second round, makes me wonder if he's been thinking about this, if this is part of their game plan. Stand for the first, shoot for the second. Malik still in deep clinch up against the ropes. Tough to do as Farhad is leaning back well, into the corner. And he's in his own corner as well. So he's, he's taking that instruction. That always helps. That's exactly where it's at right now. And, and they're going to split him back up, and we're right back to it. Oh, big right hand by Malik. Shooting in on that takedown now. Going for the underhook. And intent to throw those knees. And they're landing. He's getting some body shots in there. 
Get broken up once again, though, with a minute to go. I would agree with that. There wasn't a lot of action there. And if you can get someone worried about your takedowns, you can land punches better. Body shots and uppercuts open wide from Bill Malik. Farhad gets out of trouble, and that's going to be in round number two. It appeared so. Still a few seconds left. And we try and there finish with is. the bang. There it is, folks. We will go into a round three of a possible five as these two continue to battle it out here in Mumbai. And if that's Malik's main game plan, that may kind of fade. But I think you'd probably give that round to Malik if it was a traditional 10-9 round. Oh, Malik oh, being very aggressive and Farhad coming right back. 10 to four, Mohamed Farhad. He has been on point. And another break from the clinch. He wants to see action. As and so do we. All. Yes, indeed. To the body. Oh, body landed. Shot. Oh, but charging forward, though, is Abdul Malik. And a nice oh. kick. Nice trade. Farhad lands a big right hand. There it is. So we're going to a fourth. Moving into the championship rounds now. We'll see who's done their cardio. Absolutely. Abdul Malik. And here we go. Take a look at the score, sitting at 16 to eight. Malik trying to get that takedown. Unable to change levels though. And Farhad will take control in the clinch. Referee Dan breaking them because of that. So you have to be concerned about the counter punch as you're trying to land. Right over the top, now Farhad. Really wants to end this fight, doesn't he, Nay? You can tell he really wants to put an exclamation mark on this one. Oh, nice stiff jab by Malik. Oh, and there Ooh. it is. Big shot he just missed. Looks like he kicked at a piece of confetti for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Not something you often see. And we got one more round to go. These boys are going to go all five rounds. Here we go. Fifth and final round. Rahad going back to those kicks. Big overhand right to land with the thud. Looking for a takedown, charging forward. Stuff the takedown, turn them back into the ropes. Abdul Malik, this is a huge opportunity for him to pull off a W. Restart back once again. Three and a half minutes left to go. Kick again. Into the body, gets caught, and Malik is on him. And we're going to break it up. Dan Mergladi going to bring him back to the center. Agree with every one of these separations. <laughs> Can Farhad get one of those trademark finishes? Uh-oh. Legs are hurting. Oh, oh, back again. And we got to finish, folks. Farhad putting it into it. Farhad chopped down that tree. Less than a minute to go. I'd let him try to stand up and hit that leg again. Yeah. And Malik coming out the back. Ah, oh, such a, an opportunity. And, I, and that may hinder Farhad for getting the finish. He was that close. I would have made him stand up again. I think he would have had the win. He wants to roll through. 10 second bell. Goes at it again. Right back at those legs and there we go. That is it. That was a war. Both men showing sportsmanship.
As Team India is your first ever Kumite One League Champions. Team India, ladies and gentlemen. Shaz Media, Shakil, Rashid, Nagma, and all the other teams, Deepa, Ketan, Angita, Sanjay, all the team to make this event successful. Special thanks to Carlos and Bright Outdoor Media, Yogesh Lakhani. Thank you. We made history tonight. Such a special night. Incredible work by everybody. It takes a lot to put on a show like this and just unbelievable teamwork all the way around.